Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome. Another day, another Geek Bites here from the Geek Bodies. <gasps> hey! <laughs> Someone suggested when it's just uh, two out of the three Geek Buddies, uh, we should both say buddies together. So I tried it out this time around. Uh, Michael's critical of how I say buddies. Uh, no one can match. Uh, the great Shannon McClung, and that is Shannon McClung. I am the outlaw, John Roca, and you have clicked on this uh, trailer reaction for this brand new uh, uh, official trailer. This is the first official trailer for Percy Jackson and the Olympians, this new uh, series coming to Disney+. Plus. Of course, we had those movies back in 2010, 2013. Eh, kinda, some people like them, some people don't. Certainly, they weren't overwhelmingly great so that there was a consistent amount of installments uh, in the franchise, but this is the series. Shannon Talk to me about your affection for Percy Jackson and the Olympians and, and why you're looking forward to this series in particular. So this was a book series that was shockingly passed on to me by Mike Vogel. Oh, um, he, okay. he had just read the first one and he's like, hey, if you're missing Harry Potter, this <laughs> is Harry Potter with Greek mythology. And right. that is literally what it is. And that is no... That is no slant on Rick Riordan, the author, right. um, because I mean, I read the first three and they are they are very well written. They are YA. I mean, they're for a younger audience. Sure, sure. Um, at least where I where I jumped off. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, it, it's it's just a fun it's a fun little adventure. And, you know, I was, I was a big, you know, clash of the Titans fan with Harry yeah. Hamlin way yeah. back when. So in terms of, you know, Greek gods, Greek monsters, Greek heroes, I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's, let's give this a read. And yeah. the films, I think they only did two. Yeah, two. Um, yeah. Uh, where the films did do well was in the casting of the three, the three kids, mm -hmm. um, which it was Logan Lerman, um brandon it, t jackson yeah was it from Daddario as well Trapper and alexander daddario yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so all three of them went on to have you know pretty good yeah. careers sure so they they are again you know the the comparisons to harry potter are you know they're 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 always going to be there right. um but this is the harry ron hermione so mm -hmm. a lot of what i think a lot of the success of the series of the disney plus series will depend on the casting of those three characters because you can see even in the teaser like they're yeah. it, they're going to fill out the teachers and the adults with really well-known actors yeah. um you know we've yeah. got lance the the late great Lance Reddick as Zeus, Toby right. Stevens from Lost in Space as Poseidon, who is uh, Percy Jackson's dad. Um, I think Megan Mullally pops up. I mean, so yeah. they're going to have they're going to have um, a good adult cast, but the the success of it really will depend on the casting of the three young kids. Yeah, and that's uh, Walter Scobell who's playing Percy, and then you've got uh, Leah Sava Jeffries who's playing Annabeth, and. Ariane Simardi, who is playing Grover. And in the earlier teaser, we focused on Percy's uh, realization that he's a demigod, uh, which is the child of a Greek god and a human, of course. He expands on it. Uh, and apparently there's going to be more here in this official trailer as they race to return Zeus's master lightning bolt to Olympus, which I think you can see behind us, the lightning bolt there uh, in the background that I put up. But yeah, you mentioned the cast here also, from aside from the three main uh, actors there uh, leading the way here, you've got Jason Mansukas is in this, Lin-Manuel Miranda is in this, Jay Duplass is in this, Adam Copeland, who is Edge for you WWE fans, is in this as well. So yeah, a lot of really good actors and then strong, a strong stable of actors to play in uh, the rest of the characters and round out this for Rick Rordan's uh, adaptation. I say this because he is credited as a co-creator alongside John Steinberg and him and Steinberg wrote the first two episodes. So you've got the blessing of Rordan on this one, which I think matters because he didn't like those first two movies and wasn't that involved in them. So does that give you an excitement that Rordan is involved in this more deeply uh, and is, is steering the ship, uh, at least co-steering the ship in a way uh, with this series? I mean, it does, but also I feel like, um, you know, Chris Columbus, who, again, directed the first two Harry Potter right, movies, yeah. directed the first Percy Jackson and the Olympians film. Mm -hmm. um, my guess is that Rick Riordan's um, help was not really asked for. That he, yeah, probably he you know, he, he, the, the rights were sold. I think it was to Fox. Uh, yeah. The rights were sold. And that was probably about, that was probably the extent of his 
contribution. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know. Like, I, I could be 100% incorrect about this. But um, generally, when you're going to be adapting a film and the film is not based on something at Harry Potter level, yeah. uh, generally the author is not going to be that um, involved with that right. yeah. the 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 studio the director the screenwriters would be like we got it you know we've got your source material and, and they did stay fairly close to the book right. um, the fact that he is more intimately involved with this i would think absolutely he he's certainly very excited about yeah, it yeah um we'll see we'll see what we think of it yeah well let's find out what we think of it let's bring up the trailer now perseus that's me mm -hmm. that's who you're named after because he was a hero because he was brave and kind and against all odds, he managed to find his way to a happy ending. I'm used to the world feeling weird to me. <laughs> like a puzzle with half their own pieces. But lately, it all feels different somehow. Percy, you are special. When you're ready to hear what the gods have in store for you, <laughs> yeah. they'll tell you. Percy, the stories I have told you oh, about it. great gods and monsters, they are real. This is crazy. You are a half-blood, and half-bloods are not safe in the world. Everything has been training for what's still ahead of you. Hold on. Percy Jackson. Your father needs your help. The master bolt has been stolen. If you don't return the bolt, there will be war. That is your quest. I know it sounds daunting, but you won't be alone. A quest is always undertaken by three. Demigods process reality differently. We gotta figure out what you're good at. Should I try again? No! No! There's no place for me here. You still don't get where you fit into all this. We were sent on a quest by the gods. What do you think? It would be easy? Demigods, welcome. Mom, I'm not leaving you. Perseus? Hold fast. Brave the storm. I won't even need a sword. I'm gonna need a sword. All right. Your Don't thoughts uh, from what we got here uh, in this uh, in this trailer? Uh, in terms of the scope, the scale, the cinematography, the effects. Yeah. All that stuff looks really good. I, I don't think we have a sense about those three kids yet. Um, <laughs> okay. And that is not to say anything that they did in the trailer was bad. I think Annabeth right. had one line. Grover, I think, had one uh, 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 VO line. Yeah. Um, but there's nothing about those three kids that are jumping out at me like, yes, that's them. The adults... Absolutely. Glenn Turman showing up as I think I think the character's name. He's the the centaur. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. He's he's Percy's teacher in the real yeah. world, I think. And in the in the in the book, he's in a wheelchair. And then you find out it's because he's actually a centaur. Oh, nice. um, and then he kind of like, you know, it, it emerges from the wheelchair. Um, yeah. I mean, the the adults look great. The it looks like the action is pretty good, but I think it's still too early to tell whether or not um, Walker Scoble is going to be a great Percy Jackson. Yeah, I, I, but I liked what we got with Walker. I, I think, uh, you know, like, um, I, w I didn't find this to be irritatingly young adult. This actually looked interesting and fun and seems like they were really dialing into the fantastical aspects of the gods and what have you. And the special effects, I think, look really good for this. I wasn't seeing any kind of issues where it looked really obvious that it was out of place or not quite right. And certainly under the Disney banner, we've seen Marvel get some crap for some of the CGI issues that they have, but this looked really cool. I mean, just that uh, creature, whatever there's at the end, walking into what looks like a subway station or whatever and, and taking on Percy or up on the roofs there. Uh, and then the centaur shot, the minotaur stuff looked pretty cool. Um, and clearly this is something, you know, there's a strong a moment with his mom as well. And we're wondering what that uh, means. Is she sacrificing herself? She's sending him off to 
go fight there at the end. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yes, don't ruin anything. But so I have, so I haven't read anything, and I never watched the first two movies. So I have a, a lot of interest in seeing how this series is going to go. And I know the National Treasure series only lasted a season, and they ended up canceling that one. Do you think this one from the teaser trailer and this official trailer? Do you sense this is a stronger uh, uh, attempt at adapting a film or a book series into um, into uh, a series format here? Well, I mean, I think it's a stronger attempt in that there is, as opposed to the National Treasure series, I think mm -hmm. visually, from a visual effects standpoint, there is more being asked here because yeah, yeah. you you have your CGI monsters. Um, you know, whereas National Treasure, it was pretty much they were kind of in the world yeah, and. Right. Um, you know, one of the issues I didn't get through the first episode of the National Treasure series, <laughs> um, which, you know, I really enjoy that. I mean, it is Indiana Jones light, but I mean, I enjoy I enjoy a, a quest to go find a thing. Yeah. Um, and I, I the casting of, again, the kids in National Treasure, to me, they were just not used well, mm, which is okay. why I think, again, it's going to hinge so hard so yeah. much yeah. on the casting of Percy, Annabeth, and Grover. Yeah, and it feels like for this was a nice trailer for someone like me who doesn't know too much about it, uh, but uh, I, they are focusing on the uh, gods aspects of it all and the uh, idea of him being a half-blood, so that, feel, that, that feels very hot, Harry Potter-ish, as you said, the muggles, that kind of thing, and half in, half out, and, and what that uh, leads to and the feeling about it, and so that you see uh, being a part of this as well, but Getting us into it by showing all these creatures, I think, is a way to get us into the story. And then maybe the next trailer, because I'm sure there'll be one more before this thing drops in about a month, is uh, it'll have, give us more with the kids so that we understand what the chemistry is going to be lo like with those three actors. I don't want to say kids, but I guess kind of kids. Uh, you know, I don't disrespect them in any way. But yeah, <laughs> the young adults, shall we say, uh, and their interaction with the chemistry. But you bring up a good point that we only saw one line from uh, the younger female actress and uh, a voiceover line from the the older uh, the other actor so we need a bit more so that we can connect to these characters and be willing to go on the journey because you can put all the creatures you want if i don't care about the characters and their chemistry it's not going to matter yeah and in terms again of like the things that mm -hmm. the things that are cool from the book that they do seem to have used i mean percy's yeah. sword which you don't get we don't get us we don't get uh in this one i think you see a quick glimpse of it in the teaser yeah. percy's sword is very very cool like it's mm -hmm. it's the type of thing that works for when, when you're when your hero is a, a 12 year old or mm -hmm. a 13 year old um in in the books their hogwarts is called camp, camp half blood and all of the depending on what which god is your parent yeah. that's kind of how you're broken up into like your dorms and oh, percy is okay. the only child of poseidon so he has this Gotcha. He has his dorm basically to himself. Um, okay. But yeah, I mean, again, like the, uh, the I think it was a chimera that we saw at mm. the end. The The effects work for, for, for a series looks really good. Okay. And now it's just like we it looks like they've gotten a lot of the components right. It's just going to be the chemistry of your three leads. Right. And for Son of Poseidon to be named Perseus, is there something that's going to be revealed about that? as we watch the series in any way, or just was she just naming him out of honor for Perseus? I, yeah, I don't, I, again, I'm thinking back to Clash of the Titans with Harry yeah. Hamlin. I'm like, did yeah. Perseus and Poseidon have a connection? I, not that I remember, okay. and, and not that I remember from the book. I think it's just the fact that you could name a kid Percy. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> that's what? a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, at, short, for, short for Perseus. Yeah. Great. Uh, and, and again, Poseidon it, Jr. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for, for any for any readers or fans of the books out there, I might be wrong. So please feel free. It's It's yeah. been a while since I've read that first book. Fair so enough. please feel free to correct me in the comments. <laughs> there you go. Well, let us know what you thought about the trailer down in the comment section below. What it worked for you? What didn't work for you what stood out for you what didn't stood out, stand out for you if you're not a reader of the books did this trailer get you interested in watching the series if you have read the books or seen the series or seen the first two films right do you what are they getting right here that's getting you excited about it let us know down there hit a like on this video share it on your social media and subscribe to the channel down below follow shannon mcclung at shannon underscore mcclung and at shannon the geek buddy you can follow me at the roca says and we'll talk to you next time because this one's coming out on December 20th. So we might have a review or something. So look out for that. And we'll talk to you next time with another brand new episode of the Geek Bites from the Geek Buddies. Buddies. <gasps>